I know that when I see someone actually make something, it's a lot easier for me to understand the process. Uh, Hands-on is even better. I, if I do it myself uh, with someone instructing me, I, that's when I really learn the best. But seeing someone do it, that's why I love YouTube. If you don't know how to do it, check it out on YouTube. There's probably a dozen ways to do one thing, <laughs> at least. So here I'm going to show you how I made the waterer. And it's the same thing with making the feeder with just slight differences. Now this is one of those Dollar Tree oil pans. And I was actually just using this to put some water in, not for them to drink, but to actually stand in, get dirty, get nasty in. Because uh, chickens standing in water will help them lower their body temperature on really hot days. So it's still something I need to set up for them. But in something that's a little bit more durable, they didn't... They weren't trying to tear this up. I, I think they just kind of knocked it over and it cracked and busted. So this dollar was not well spent because it it broke very easily. Now this stuff, it takes some real effort to break one of these. And I have seen horses do it. But I don't think my chickens will be able to do that. And it fits. Just whatever container you're using, make sure you just got a little bit more room than it than it requires and even though this is much higher than the oil pan and what I'm using currently I'm still gonna put it about an inch and a half or so two inches tops and we'll drill a hole now your hole is gonna vary depending on how you're gonna do this if you if you're able to turn this thing upside down then you can put a hole you know toward the top and then flip it over when you get it there me I'm just drilling one hole and I'm using this an artificial cork or rubber I'm not sure exactly what this is but I got this from a wine bottle cheap I like sweet stuff so they, they they're a lot cheaper than the dry so I get away with that but anyway this comes out without me having to use a corkscrew and I use a 3 8 inch drill bit but this is bigger so I have to drop go and kind of um, work around the hole to make it larger than the drill bit can make. So, and it's very simple. So, I go in. There. Way too big for me to push this in. So, I tried cutting it. I tried using a razor blade utility knife. I like using this to cut plastic with, tin snips. But I found to keep it more circular and not hurt myself, this works best for me. And then I tried the hole. It's still too small. I'm really trying not to make long videos. <laughs> so, okay, edit out me tr trying to work that in. But see, now I can put that in. And fill it up with water after I clean out the mess. And I'm gonna put a gasketed lid on it. And that's it. Now I've got a water. For the feed buckets, I don't think I need to show you that. I hope not. I just put that inside that hole because that's the largest drill bit I've got in this set. And I just go in and I am cutting rectangles on the bottom every so often. And depending on what container you're using, that um, yours will vary. And that way the feed, because it's pelletized, I don't use scratch, that they... Um, just flows out from the just gravity fed and that's it simple I started to say in the other video about the light pen, uh, buckets that light will penetrate I like being able to see how much water is left so I know when I need to change it out without having to touch it or mess with it in any way the thing is that light penetrating buckets can grow algae any standing water any buckets 
with water in it will will eventually grow algae some green stuff now I know that I buy algae supplements and there's a lot of health benefits to algae so I don't understand the you know don't have algae in there I, I guess maybe there's some dangerous ones I, I've not actually found any to be uh, harmful to animals because they'll drink dirty water no problem I do have problems with black mold which I've seen growing in the silicone of the poultry knuckles that I use to seal the tops with there's black mold in that and that bothers me I, I want to take that all apart and find something that's a little bit more mold resistant and put it in there but I'm not worried about the algae which I can clean I can take the lid off the buckets and clean these periodically if that's an issue or I can add some apple cider vinegar which is good for the animals just you know you got, don't put overdo it in the water but it helps them to um, in some cases drink more water so but that's this is how I do it and depending on if you're going to turn your bucket upside down I'm going to have to fill this bucket up and carry it to the chicken coop and replace the former water and then pull the plug out so and I don't, like, I don't need a plug for every bucket I, this is the have I keep it with my little uh, chicken maintenance or uh, tool set so whenever I need to carry another water bucket that's what I do so that's it I hope this helps thanks for watching